What is going on, peace? What is going on? It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. You're going to get this in two parts because for some reason my phone just cut off right in the middle of that. And I've lost my stride now. I'm trying not to lose my stride. But if you was listening or watching, this is all about the karmic elder people in your life mostly. About karmic people in your life in general. But I was concentrating on the mothers then. Whatever type of mother, if it's baby mother, if it's a, it's your mother in general, the stepmother, the mother-in-law, these people that interfere in their life for no goddamn reason. And what's going to happen? You're going to be dead left. <laughs> You're going to be dead left and being a spinster by yourself because you listen to these people all your life. So, if you are on YouTube, please subscribe, hit the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. I don't know why it cut off people, but that's really irritating me now. It's almost like them dark entities don't want me to get the message out there. I want to go on, please. What I want. And just, just remember, I have Patreon, okay? And if you want to get these messages first, if you want to see them first, if you want to even donate, if you resonate with the messages that I'm bringing to you, please show your appreciation because it's not easy doing these videos and getting the messages out there so people can understand because you know it takes energy energy is everything you know balance and all these things so please come and join the patreon collective but anyway let's carry on here's what i was saying the free of swords are you left lonely and depressed because these people have been up in your ear with the with the Charlie Brown syndrome, what, what? <laughs> They're in your ear and you've behaved like a sheep for so long and you've realised now that these people didn't mean you any good. Whether it's your mother, whether it's your stepmother, your mother-in-law, even the baby mother, they're keeping you stuck and stagnant and it's just, it's just heartbreaking to see it. And when you see the three of swords, that's also about the third party situation. People interfering in your love life, interfering in your life in general. Do you want this? Because look, we've got the five of swords and reverse has come out. That's in reverse. Are you finally getting it? Are you seeing? Because upright, the five of swords is people doing things that is an unwise choice. Are you getting the message? Cut this nonsense out. Cut this nonsense out. Let's get some cards. Because like I was saying, the Six of Swords. Are you trying to go to Karma Waters now? Are you seeing... Did you have a light bulb moment? I did a daily spiritual tea this morning. The light bulb moment came up. <laughs> Trust and believe. So what else is coming out here? Yeah. You need to put things to death and transform. I mean, when it says death, it's not necessarily about death, death itself. It's about ending things and having new beginnings it's about transforming your life it's about moving on to new situations new things new places releasing what does not serve you trust and believe i don't know why this is coming out today but let me tell you something because if you don't it's going to be nothing but stabation trication juggulation all the stabations that are happening because this is like past betrayals you know when you see the ten of swords it's like you've been through things and it was unnecessary sometimes because you're listening to the wrong people and you're not listening to the spirit within spirit is within all of us trust and know and understand it's for you to actually accept that and to go with it and listen to yourself meditate people think meditation is a crap thing but it's not people think med <laughs> meditation is an airy fairy thing but i tell you if you can meditate you're deep if you can really meditate i mean meditating meditating doesn't have to be an, a hard thing either just concentrate on your breathing and block out the world and then you'll get the messages what you should be doing for what you should do instead of going through this nonsense with these people time and time again time and time again is a betrayal time and time again there's people interfering in your life do you want that <laughs> i'd rather be alone than to have this nonsense because i'm telling you take some action this is the princess of wands this is the prince the page normally in this deck take action in your life take that small action baby steps feel the fear and do it anyway and take the action because i tell you <laughs> these karmic people in your life these karmic people in your life are just not doing you any service at all they're just doing you such injustice and you're not seeing it are you behaving like the sheep do you listen to everything they say and they tell you what to do and you take it on and where has it got you show me who you do you know what there's this thing about showing people who you are okay when someone shows you who they are first of all believe them because people show you who they are from early it's for you to know and understand 
who they are and how you should actually receive the information, either consciously or subconsciously. It's like, I'm going to give you the analogy, you go for a date, right? And this person turns up late. Now, A, do you forgive them and, move, and, and carry on with the date? Or B, do you not accept that? Unless they, there's certain, there's, you know, there's exceptions. Like they phoned up and said, oh gosh, something's really happened. Um, I hope, please forgive me. Because everybody has a phone these days. Please forgive me. Or a text. Please forgive me. I'm going to be slightly late. I hope you can understand. I'm really sorry. If someone wants to do that, that's fine. But you see when Tom, somebody rocks up 45 minutes late and sits there and looks at you like it's a normal thing for them. It's time to run. <laughs> is your but if you let that go if you give somebody an inch they take a mile i'm just giving you a really simple analogy okay i'm giving you a really simple analogy inconsistency shouldn't be rewarded and likewise when you've got these parents that keep interfering are you seeing the pattern that these people keep interfering in your life it could be your mum your dad your whatever karmic is a karmic somebody who's there to teach you lessons and you keep going through the cycles and you're not seeing it Oh, that one. With this three of swords now, it's the six of pentacles. It's time to come out of this madness. It's time to come out of this madness and balance out yourself. Time to come out of this madness and, 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 and with the give and take. Trust and believe. <laughs> Did I tell you, this is deep. People, people, people. Hear me when I tell you. Please come out of this heartbreak with these people. Please come out of this sadness. Come out of this despondency. Find the balance in your life. Found, find balance. Give and take is about balance. Find the balance in your life. Because I've got the nine of... This is the nine of cups in reverse. This is the wish fulfillment in reverse. Because if you don't, these people with their unwise choices in reverse, it's going to be... It's the... Uh, uh, What's not going to happen to your wishes? You're not going to fulfill your wish fulfillment. You're not going to get your wish fulfillment with these people interfering in your life. What are you going to do? I want to go on, peeps. I want to go on. Me no, no. But let me tell you something. It's not good. It's not good. Because now you've got the death card here with the ace of wands. This is just a confirmation for me that you should just move on with your life. The death card. And this is like the ace of wands new this is good news this is good news this is like good action take the plunge feel the fear and do it anyway someone's just trying to call me but i can't answer the phone now in the middle of this yeah would you betrayed about your divine and would you actually betrayed with about your divine counterpart that soul tribe that person that you should have been with but because you listen to other people and other people interfered with your life you betrayed the one person that was there for you. When you see the four of wands, that's a union. That's 11-11. That's a home situation. That was a happy situation. Okay. And either you betrayed them because other people told you to. The comics in your background in your life. The interference. Or you was told to do this to somebody. Who in actual fact was your divine counterpart. And you could have been living your purpose. Living while you're here in the first place. To be with this person, to develop great fortune. Because people don't realise, and I'm going to say it and I'll say it again. When you are really with your divine counterpart, okay, and I've seen it. I've seen it. When you're with your divine counterpart or your whole soul tribe, behind every successful man is a good woman. Okay, when you find your divine counterpart, your soul tribe, your soul person, your soul connection, there ain't nothing you can't do. That ain't nothing you can't achieve. You can achieve that generational wealth with the right person backing you. But until you figure that out, you're never going to get there. You're going to be old and grey and alone. No man is an island. And I say that, and, and that's completely controversial now because I've said you're going to die. Uh, uh, but no man is an island. And I'll tell you why I'm saying that. Because the people around you tell you who you are. Show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. And if these people are sitting around all day gossiping, guess what? You're seen as. If you have mentors around you, guess what you are? If you've got people around you that support you in all you do, guess what? You are. 
What you do matters. What you do matters. Trust and believe, people. Look. The page of the page of wands. You got the page and the ace. It's just like a confirmation message that you need to be taking that that baby step forward. Take that action today. Okay. Some people need to release these people because they're doing them nothing but injustices. For real, for real. Let me get one more card out because I've got the Karmic Chronicles today with me. I'm gonna call this the Karmic Week because I'm telling you, look. Did they cause you nothing but confusion? You had choices in the past. You had choices. Do you know what I mean? Look, this is the Princess of Wands, which is the page, and this is the Seven of Cups. You had choices, but now you've got nothing but confusion and illusions because of what people have been feeding you. It's what you let interfere because you they only can do what you allow. They only can do what you allow. Remember that. <laughs> and I'm not trying to tell anybody off today, but I tell you, this is deep. What's under this deck before I move on from this? Because I'm telling you, them dark forces don't want me to talk the message. But look, try and go to Karma Waters and get out of your head with this Eight of Swords. Let me tell you, and stop with this missed opportunity and the regret. Think about it. Move forward today. Take the baby steps. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Because look, George Mandea, <laughs> decisions you make make a difference. Start that new emotional gesture or that, is there someone you need to come forward to to, to apologize because of all the nonsense that went on? Because the message I'm also getting here is, is that somebody let other people interfere in their life, interfere in their choices, interfere with them in general, okay? They diverted their decisions, okay? They made decisions for people, okay? And this is why this is here, because this is about apologies. This is about small emotional gestures. Do you know, it's a future energy, but let me tell you something. When you let these karmics interfere with your life and you ain't got no mind, no mind of your own, what do you do? And then on top of that, because you listen to what these people had to say, or you've got this karmic in the background, whether it's a mother figure who just keeps steering you wrong because they're selfish, completely selfish and not thinking about your well-being. OK, when you see these people, you're going to walk up and down with this karma. Karma say, I am your body. Because look here, the seven of wands. Everybody's just going to... The people that you effed up in their lives, you know, because it takes one sentence, one action, whatever, and they're going to be defensive before you. What you reap your soul. They're just going to be defensive towards you. What you reap your soul. Your soul. Cause and effect. I'm stopping it there. And let me get these karmic chronicles out now because the karmic wants to talk today. See what the karmic type has said today. Because it could be... Do you know, I'm, I'm concentrating on the older mother figures in, in life. But let me tell you something. A karmic is a karmic. And the karmic, and I'm not saying that all karmics are bad, but the, the term karmic just means lessons that need to be learned, that you're going through cycles and you're not learning the lessons. And you're looking at people and thinking that they are justified in doing what they're doing, but they're keeping you stuck and stagnant. They're keeping you in this mindset of a lack mindset. And all you want to do is be with these who you need to be, who you want to be, but you're letting other people dictate. It's like follow the Joneses or letting other people dictate who you are. And you've got a mind of your own, is the message I've got today. Have you not got a mind of your own? Stop it with the karmics then. Stop it with the karmics. Anyway, let's get some cards out and see what Spirit has to say about this karmic. What's the karmic got to say with my oracle card credit? No, this is the karmic chronicles. <laughs> What's the karmic got to say today? Did I not like what I've got to say? You see what I mean? Somebody's a very narcissistic. What's love got to do with it? Do you understand what I mean? Are they hindering? If you've got karmics in your life that interfere to the point where you can't find love. <laughs> What's love got to do, got to do with it? Look. Love and feelings mean nothing to me. This is all about jealousy, putting doubt. Do you know if someone could put doubt in your mind, that's enough to change the course of your life. That's enough to change the course. Did you know that? That's enough to change the course of your life. Look, I am feeding on this energy. 
This means that they're an energy vampire. Somebody who feeds on who feeds on negativity, who feeds on put place in doubt. He feel they feed they, they feel feed on <laughs> passive aggressiveness, making you feel unworthy. Are you dealing with parents like this? Are you dealing with karmics like this that put doubt and plague you in your mind to the point where you listen to them like a sheep? Whatever they say is right in your eyes, but you're not going with it to figure out what is right from wrong. Because at the end of the day, it's about right and wrong, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I love to make him angry. Do you know when you make people angry, it triggers. It's it's called a trigger, and it's called putting people out, uh, calling people out of their name, or uh, making this person go into range. They see, you know, people like me, for example. I've got a lot of fire in my truck. Do you know? It takes a lot for me to get there, but when I get there, look out! I see red. I blind to whatever anybody. I'm just too angry to the point where I'm in tears. Okay, but. In those moments, you lose all sense of judgment. You lose all sense of indecision. And it's only, I know people that act now and think about it later and think, oh shit, I should have never done that. Because you let people call you out your name. You let people call you out who you are. And that in those moments, you forget who you are or what is going on. Do these people do that to you? Oh, what I want, peace, what I want. I don't really want that. You see what I mean? People hold on to you for the, for the sport of it, for the competition of it, for the sake of, like, because they can. And it's for you to get up and recognise that you need to release. I'm not saying everybody's like this. I'm not saying all karmics are like this. Sometimes karmic don't know they're being karmic. They don't understand the concept. They don't understand cause and effect, what you reap yourself. The first... Law of karma is what you reap, you sow. Actions and consequences. And this is what you don't seem to understand. I don't really want them. Are you, are you letting someone keep you stagnant? Is the question you have. Look, I am cold. Oh, that's even worse. That's the classic size of narcissism. Do you know that I am, in, I am cold dependent? This person depends on you for everything. Okay, but what are you getting in return? Is energy exchange there? Is balance there? Is somebody just being codependent because they can be? What happens when you let go and release these people? Is that when you're really going to see the true person? Wow. I'm, I'm one more. I play with his... Oh, God. I play with his feelings. His or her slash her feelings. Yeah. Passive aggressiveness. They know how to make you feel unworthy, to feel unloved. And they reward that kind of thing with showing you a little bit of something. But guess what? Those are learned behaviours. This is why I'm saying, if you ever listen to my spiritual teeth, I, I said, you know, these things are learned sometimes. They're not, you, you didn't born that way. You learned these behaviours from people around you. And some people think that it's normal to walk around and be rewarded with emotion. To be rewarded with emotion. So you get rejected all the time, but then you might get the obnogit, uh, the nugget of affection if you do something that they wanted. That's not normal. That's dysfunctional. Do you realise that? That's dysfunctional. And when I see things like this, I played with his, her feelings. That's madness. These karmic, these karmic situations, people have got to wake up. Use your third eye. And understand and know that these things, and you know, even if you're not talking in a spiritual sense, people are held down and kept stagnant for a reason. And nine times out of ten, it's for somebody else's selfish benefit. Get out of that mindset. Get out of that situation. No one understand. This doesn't have to be you. This doesn't have to be you. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, people, because I've had to do this in two parts. So... <laughs> subscribe hit the alert bell most of all if this message resonates with you you'll probably find that a lot more of my other messages on my patreon that has not seen the light of day apart from patreon are there waiting for you so please help a girl out help a sister out and come and join me on patreon but if not please support me on youtube please like subscribe share 
okay because it all helps and the more energy I, the more of you here the more of you subscribe the more energy i'm gonna pick up so until next time take care people and don't go into the charlie brown syndrome and let it go for one ear and out the other <laughs> take care